Disclaimer, martial arts training could be dangerous. Training the techniques or exercises in this video may have the possibility of you getting injured, such as your ankle, knee, hip, belly button, or head may explode, or you may spontaneously combust into a great ball of fire. But honestly, we are training in the martial arts not basket weaving. Injuries can occur, but if trained safely, great things can happen. Welcome to Championship Fighting System. My name is Roger Grimes, and today we're gonna to do a workout. And it's also gonna be a technique that I call Attacking Warrior. So that's the base technique today for this workout. So let's start off with a little bit of warm up and a little bit of stretching. Because the technique's going to consist of side kicks in it too. So here we go. Jumping jacks. Good. Now we're going to touch the floor. We're going to go 10 times. Try to keep the knees straight as possible. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. Here we go. One. It's two. It's three. It's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now what we're going to do is grab the bag, swing the legs. You can grab a wall, a chair, a, a moose, whatever you get a hold of. Just grab it if you want. Take the legs, swing it across, back and forth. Go with the other side. Good. We're gonna just touch the foot, lift it up, loosen it up. Good. I'm gonna take my legs just above shoulder with a little bit pass. I'm gonna grab my hands together. Go into like a squat, push this elbows inside, and just kind of rock back and forth. Good. Come on, out of that. Take the legs out. Now we're going to just come down to this leg, slide, come on up, and go back. Here we go. Swing. Come on up. Now we're going to go back the other way. Let's keep doing that. Good. Now just go to like a bow stance. Without turning the foot all the way, keep it out here and just kind of rock so you can feel it up in the hip flexors. How you doing? Now let's go to the other side. Good. Just shake out the legs. All right, we're going to work reverse punches. We're going to do 10 of them. You can do 30, 50, 100, whatever you want to do. But we're going to do it from a fighting horse stance. And then we're going to do it on a wall. And then we'll get into there. But again, the fight horse stance. So the hand kind of here, here. So you're going to reach out like you're shaking the hand. And then you're going to turn. This is a wall drill. I got that from Henry Childers, one of my favorite Kempo guys. He did that for about 45 minutes with a bunch of black belts, just a reverse punch. 
We did the wall and just punching out 45 minutes out of our seminar. I thought it was great. I got a lot out of it just from a reverse punch. All right, here we go. So we're going to get the knees bent a little bit, hands here. You're going to just reach the hand out just like this. And then once you hit that, can't go any farther. And then you're going to pivot out and then just let your hand come out. So let's do 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's go with the other side. We're gonna come out and run like this, then you're gonna pivot, boom. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna change angles. I'm gonna go on the wall. I'm gonna change the angle of the camera. See you in a moment. Okay, the object is to be really close to the wall. Obviously, you don't want to be here. But the object is, is not let your elbow touch the wall. And spring this out, pivot, and that's how you get that in there. All right, let's do 10 of these. Here we go. One, two, three, it's four, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to stay at this angle, do the other hand so you can see the back end of this. So see I'm here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, this technique that I'm going to do is attacking warrior. I put that name to it. But this is something we used to do. My instructor, Mark Miller, would call it an attacking sidekick where we lift up, slide with the kick. That would be an attacking sidekick. Then we used to pop the punch and the punch. So that's what we're going to do. Lift up the leg, kick, back to this reverse punch. Great thing about this. I can stand here, let you come to me, or I could try to slide a little bit and come to you. So right now we're gonna do it when we're sliding in a little bit. So lifting up and going in. All right, here we go. 10, one, it's two. And this one, obviously, we're gonna be more fighting, set the fighting horse. It's three, hmm. it's four, Five. Now I'm gonna hit the bag. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. I didn't like the way that was. Nine. Ten. And that comes out just nice the way we did the wall drill. Let's do the other side. One, two, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna do it on the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to take a brief moment from the video. I just want to say if you didn't pick up my book, Lessons from the Cage Yet, what are you waiting for? You can get it in paperback or you can get it in ebook. Where can you get this? That is a wonderful question. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on the Apple Books. You can even buy it in Barnes & Noble. I've even seen it on the Target app and the Walmart app. But check it out. Just Google it if you don't know. Lessons from the Cage. Life Lessons from MMA. Roger Grimes. Now back to the program. 
I had stopped the videoing because I had some students. I was running out of time. But the funny thing is, one of the students was the one guy, the older gentleman you see doing the videos with me, Paul. I was sparring with Paul, and one of the moments on there, I took a forearm right to the nose. And I think my eyes are starting to, to darken here, almost like black in my eyes. My nose didn't bleed, surprisingly, but that's funny. But Paul has been working these techniques with me for a long time, too. And he's kind of awkward to spar with. You know, if I try to pull this point fight and stuff with him, so if you watch that sparring video, you could see how I had to adjust to him. And then I took advantage of him getting tired. <laughs> so it's a fun video. Check that out. But let's continue with this one. We're going to go with side kicks. Okay, we're going to do 10 side kicks from the... We're going to do it from a side horse. We're going to just lift it up and throw the side. We're going to do that shuffle like I was saying, the attacking right there. So here we go. Bounce. Here we go. One. It's two. It's three. It's four. See, I'm not going all the way here even on this. I just could just come in here. That still gets the power from here. Still can get decent power. It's faster. So I'm not over exaggerating. It doesn't always have to be over exaggerated. Alright, so here we go. We're going to five. Now I'm gonna go in here five times. Here we go. One, two, it's three, it's four, it's five. As you know, I was doing videos with Kyle Russell, but he asked me which I prefer, the side stance or more here. I prefer more like this, but sometimes I'll do it here too, especially if we're point fighting, because there's less of you to hit. But when it comes down to that, you'll watch that video of me sparring with Paul. I hit him, but he's on me. So if he's, if I'm not hurting him, he can walk in on you a lot easier. All right, let's go to the other side here. Here we go, one. It's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. All right, we're here. One, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. Okay, so now we're going to take it more here, lift it, kick. So now I'm chambering it more. I'm coming across and delivering. All right, you ready for this? All right, here we go. One. It's two. It's three. It's four. It's five. I'm going to do that in the back. Here we go. One. It's two. It's three. Let me do three again. That was so weak. Three, two. It's four. Two. It's five. Oh, that was so slow and weak. Five. <clears throat> right leg. So I'm gonna be more fighting neutral bow. Here we go. One. Just like that. Here we go. Two. It's three. It's four. It's five. One. Two, it's three, it's four, it's five. <clears throat> now, 
take it from here, pull it in. Now that could be a back kick or a side kick. I'm gonna do it as a side kick today. Then I'll come in here, moving my head out of the way, delivering the kick. All right, here we go. One. It's two. It's three. Now from here, I don't have to really chamber up. I'm changing that angle on this way. I can get away with that if I had someone swing in my head and they are totally open. That's how I can get away with that. Four. It's five. Now let's hit the bag. One, two, two, two three, two, four, two, five. Let's go with the other one. That's the one I use the most. <clears throat> Take advantage of someone swing my head and move it. Bam! So I'm here. Then I deliver it. Here we go. One. It's two, it's three, it's four, it's five. Let's hit this guy. One, it's two, it's three, it's four, five. So there's the side kicks. Now let's do back fist, reverse punch. I'm gonna take it from here. One, it's two. So it's fighting horse. One, it's two, three, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Talk about this before. If I'm here, the guy moves over, great time for a back fist. Well, Paul did that to me in that video when we were sparring today. I went, sidestepped. I wanted to go here and shoot him fist. As soon as I sidestepped, my hand kind of was a little lower to here, and he just came right up and popped me. I was like, okay, so he listened all them years. He's got things to come out. It worked. <clears throat> so that taught me if I'm doing that, make sure I'm out here and then do that. So I learned a lesson today off of something that I taught someone else. So we're always learning. That's the fun thing about it. All right, so let's go with the regular back fist. Reverse punch from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. All right, I want to do some ab workout with stretching. I'm going to use the wall. I'm going to lay down, have my feet out. So I'm putting my rear end to the wall. Here, I'm going to spread out here. I'm going to do ten crunches from here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's ten. Butterfly. One, it's two, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Now what I'm gonna do is straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna do this stretch. Leg out, this one going out here. And then I'm gonna just kind of roll into here, pressing. Now I'm about coming up. Okay, let's go to the other side. All right, here we go. I'm gonna roll it over. Now I'm bowing. Coming up. And here, shake them out. Come out and grab. I want to call that a quits. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good jazz. And enjoy your day. I'll see you on the next video. God bless. Oh, sorry. You all right? Good. Here's your second. Is that right? No, that was my nose. Really? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, it was a forearm.